Hello, I'm Sven and welcome to another Key Factor community video. Today we're going to show you how to configure short lived certificates, also known as ephemeral certificates, in EGBCA. So, first we're going to start with the web browser. So, let's switch over to that. Okay, here we are on the web browser. We're going to go to the EGBCA, our Node 1 container here. And then we're going to log into the admin web. Then we'll start with certificate profiles. So to do a short-lived certificate like everything else in EGBCA, we need a certificate profile and we need an identity profile. So we'll start with cloning our client profile here and we'll call this short-lived profile. And we'll create from template. Then we want to edit this guy, which one right here. And we're going to change a few things around. We're going to set the lifetime just to three days so we can have a nice short lived certificate. Since the idea behind these is we'd use these with containers. And since containers come and go all the time, these really can be short. We could make it even shorter if we want to, but again, that's kind of more of a testing thing and how the life cycle of these containers will be split out. We can uncheck the expiration restrictions. And then we're going to also uncheck the use certificate storage and store certificate data. That way these are issued and they're not stored in the database at all. We're going to uncheck the key encipherment here because it's just going to be for an authentication cert with client auth. We're also going to uncheck the serial distribution points in the OCSP locator because again, being so short lived revocation is really not an issue for these. And then we are going to go and click save. Now we'll go over to end entity profile and we're going to make another one, a new one over here called short lived profile. We'll add the profile then click on it and edit. We can uncheck the end entity email address. We're also going to remove the common name from the subject TN with short lived certs like this and in integration with Istio. There's no DN required because they're going to put in what's called a spiffy in the URI. So what we will do is add a uniform, oops, uniform resource identifier in the subject alt name. So we'll switch over the default cert profile and the available one to the short lived. And we'll switch this over to sub CA, my sub CA, and then my sub CA and user generated. Since CSRs will be generated from the container side and they'll be sent over to get signed, we only need the user generated that way. We're never gonna be doing server side key generation to pass back to the container. Then we'll click save. And that's it. Now, in some upcoming videos, we'll go through configuring micro K8s and then an Istio service mesh in there to show how this all integrates together. All right. Thank you. Bye.